might learn something. Hello viewers. Uh, this time we don't have a cartoon. We're still in the process of finishing other animations. But in the meantime, I took the liberty to make this quick educational video for any of those that don't know how to make a background or the process of making a background for an, for an animation. Uh, so I'm going to show you the steps for a specific background that I did for Starslot. Um, I hope you guys have watched it and enjoyed it and I'll show you the steps. So the background I want to talk about is this background, uh, the bar scene that's kind of towards the end of the, the cartoon Star's Blood. And as you can see it's, uh, it's a one point perspective uh, looking towards the exit and the right side you got the bar and on the left side you got sort of like where the, the DJ is playing his guitar. So the first step is that I receive a sketch from Mr. Luna, the director of Star Slot and on his sketch he will roughly show me what it is that he wants to see and my job is to figure out the best way to show that. The second step after studying Mr. Luna's sketch is to draw it out in pencil and once I was done with that I showed it to Mr. Luna to see if he was happy with it and he was happy with the decision making I made so I ended up staying with this uh, first pass. The third step is to move on to inking. I use a micro pen. The fourth step is to scan the drawing into Photoshop. And once in Photoshop, I clean it up a little bit more. Uh, I go through every single line to make sure that the lines look clean, that there's no smudges. And after that, then I move on to coloring. And I basically give it just like a, fl uh, depending on the mood, uh, this one is supposed to be a bar so it's supposed to be dark but Mr. Luna still wanted to have a lot of like vivid lights uh, really s saturated colors so I first went over with a, a, a base color for the s different objects the stool, the bar, the walls and after that I moved on to shadowing and once I was done with that I went on to doing the highlights or the, the neo colors and the final step is to take that Photoshop file and take it into Toon Boom and just add it to the background and add the characters on top of it. And once that's done, then you just push play. All right, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it'll help some of you. If not, maybe answer some of the questions of how here at Caricatura Studio, how we do the backgrounds. And I gotta get back to work because I just finished inking another background for an upcoming uh, cartoon. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. It should be done in about a month or less. And yeah, that's it. Peace out.